some about coming up here. You keep telling all you, everybody, these comedians are like the greatest, they're the greatest in the world, definitely in the country. And they've taken me under their wing. I, I'm, they want, they're throwing money at me to do a Broadway show. And, uh, you know, I'm obviously the amateur of the world. They, they have quite a fraternity here. And they all support each other big time. And, uh, Wonderful, wonderful people. And this, this is, they call this place the Hell's Angels of Comedy Clubs. One time I was here and there's like a Marine there. And I, I choked him out and another comedian came up and I slammed him on the stage. Here comes the chair. Oh, yeah, man. It was a great, great fucking time, man. Is that star. I just look at it they call him the star. So I, was, I painted myself half black. I was wrestling this guy, Bad News Brown. In the in Bad News Brown in the Sky Dome in in, in uh, Toronto, Canada. Sky Dome has these these booths like hotel rooms. You look over at the baseball or football and the wrestling stuff, and it looks like you, you nobody can see it, but they see it. And there was this guy and his wife, and they were banging in front of the glass, and everybody like sixty thousand people looked around, and they said to the cameraman, somebody said to CBC, like the national thing, and they said to the cameraman, the cameraman. Wanted to look, and he puts a camera over here, and they, they showed the national TV to people pay. So I gave myself half black there because Bad News Brown was a you know really good guy, good jewel player, but a lousy fucking wrestler. I had to do like 40 interviews on I needed some material. But what happened was they made this special black solution, and I put it straight down in my body, completely. <laughs> my own little sense of humor. Uh, completely half black. I come out in the Toronto Sky Dome. I had this mat, but it was a solution, so when I sweat, Vince McMahon made it. It wouldn't come off when I sweat. So when I finished, I came back, and the, the lady is trying to take the stuff off, and she's rubbing, and blood starts coming from my cheek. So the solution to take it off was clear. Under the giant had poured the solution out and put water in there. And so for three weeks, I went from Toronto through Chicago to Portland, drunk off my ass, half black with a four foot Mickey Mouse under one arm and a halberd under the other arm. I came through customs, they just cleared the way. I got a seat, I put Mickey in the first class seat, I bought it for him. And it took me three weeks to rub that shit off the sauna. Fucking hungry the giant. I can say that because he's dead. <laughs> he didn't come and get me, but he was a great giant. God bless you, man. I love you from the heart. I think that's great.